my name is Eddie Gitonga, um, a young African leader. So, uh, the Tibin um, was inspired by me coming to Nairobi County and uh, from Nyeri County and finding out that people do not uh, dispose waste responsibly. At the same time, there are no enough bins in the city. So I decided why not build a bin that is really interactive uh, with the public because you have bins in the city or even bins around but they are not interactive. So that is why I decided to build this bin uh, for it to educate people on waste separation as source because we're talking about uh, minimizing uh, waste uh, and having zero waste free communities and also addressing on climate change. You understand that when you mix all your waste together, organic and inorganic, we have 95% of the waste not being recycled. So I'm a passionate uh, environmentalist and not just an environmentalist, I would say more of a conservationist. Uh, because when you talk about conservation, conversations, is um, how do we create uh, solutions that benefit our environment, uh, that create jobs, solutions that not only benefit uh, me as an individual, but benefit the society. So the T bin uh, stands for, T stands for tech, tech bin. So once you approach the T bin, it greets you and tells you, welcome to the T bin. Please dispose of your organic waste, which is on the blue compartment, as you saw. Please dispose of your organic waste on the green compartment. And at the same time, we have the screens behind me, which also tell you the different types of waste. And you're able, um, you know, you're able to get that, um, you know, uh, uh, education. So, you know, we do not have, we've not had in the past, um, we do have not had you know, waste uh, management, especially segregation of waste uh, in our education systems. So we decided why not create a bin that can even be used by a child. Uh, our bin is also fitted in built, in built uh, Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi, we give it for free uh, for people that use the bin. Our uh, T-Bin also has inbuilt um, CCTVs because we want to capture the data instead of like monitoring and evaluation of the environment that is done like after every three months how do we monitor this every day like in every single second uh, we also have street lighting for for a bin uh, so basically this is to have uh, more lighting a more lighting experience for you know for people that do not have you know a lighting um, you know aspect if this was in a market uh, you know you're able to have that mamamboga uh, working for longer hours at night so in a nutshell uh, the tibin is uh, fully solar powered uh, it got proximity sensors that when you approach it it, it speaks to you uh, it has a battery that uh, you know powers this whole device powers the screens powers the inbuilt uh, Wi-Fi powers everything in the bin that is uh, that is inside the bin there's the street street lighting above me um, the solar panel also acts as a roof of the bin and then uh, we have uh, steel which is uh, which built uh, which built builds the comp compartments of the bin and the structure is which is made of semi steel but we want to build this from the recycled uh, plastic that we collect so that even the building becomes the building of this device becomes cheaper okay. so the cost of it is around um, you know, for this particular unit, is around 150,000. Uh, with uh, without the cloud computing component, but with the cloud computing component, it's 200,000. My target would be if I had this bin in every school in our country. I really believe that uh, we're going to make the most out of our wastes. So uh, the other uh, clients are shopping malls. Uh, currently, we are at Juju City Mall. Well, it's the first uh, shopping mall that is, uh, you know, appreciating segregated uh, waste management. So shopping malls, uh, gated communities, um, residential places that, uh, you know, uh, provide security. Uh, because, you know, if you have this in the public, somewhere in the street, probably someone would, uh, um, you know, vandalize it. I would say we've already rolled out the technology uh, right now because the TBN is working right here at Juja City Mall. Uh, but to roll out the whole tec the techno the technology in the whole of Kenya, I would say it, it is going to take. Uh, for me, I'm targeting uh, three years from now. So we create revenue from waste collection from our device. We also create uh, revenue from recycling. You know, for the smart screens, uh, you know, besides providing education, 
you know, I could also provide uh, advertisement for, you know, for people that would want their businesses to grow. Some of the major challenges that I experienced building these is, uh, you know, I would say financing has been one of my major uh, problem, especially to, you know, for you to get to, to register these as a patent costs you a lot of money uh, and time. So I would say it has taken me some time to build this. That has one, been one of the challenges because having a, an idea in your mind and having it on paper and then translating into something that is visible takes some time.